Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can run the test case that we have automated in the last tutorial on multiple browsers. So this is very common practice that you write the automation script and then you will be executing it on different browsers to see how your test case behaves on different browsers. And that's where the automation adds a lot of value, right? So rather than manually going and checking all the functionalities in different browsers, you automate the functionality once and then you try to execute on multiple browsers as supported by your application so how we are going to achieve that in karate absolutely simple let's go to the documentation okay so here if i go to this config section right so we have seen driver let's see configure driver right so driver is where we used to so if we say driver and then put the url then it will launch that particular url right if we go back and see configure driver so let's see what it says so configure driver is the so if we say configure star configure driver is equal to and then specify the type and the browser name right so that's how basically it will identify where it has to execute the script okay so here say for example you specify chrome it will execute on chrome if you specify ms edge it will open ms edge now this chrome or ms edge will be your native driver on the or native browser on your machine right so if you specify chrome or ms edge let's go to the detail here so if i scroll down you will see that here we have this driver types right so if i click on this driver types you will see that chrome will basically go to the default executable right so default executable if you are using mac your chrome is present here if you are using windows usually when you install chrome that's where your chrome is present right so if i go to this location i'll be able to get chrome on my machine right so let me quickly open the command prompt and if i say change directory and paste this location here and i say dir you will see chrome.exe is available here okay so if i mark this you will see chrome.exe so basically when whenever you launch chrome browser it goes to this location even manually and launches so if i if my script needs to execute the automation script on the chrome browser if i specify type as chrome it will go to this location and launch the browser that's what it's doing if i specify or even if i don't specify by default it will launch the test cases on chrome browser right so till now you will see that we haven't specified which browser we want to learn uh, we want to run so still it is running on the chrome browser but if you want to specify a specific browser for example ms edge right so it will also go to this location and run ms edge okay so but apart from that say for example in selenium we have uh, learned that you have the chrome driver or the gecko driver or safari driver ms edge driver right so if we have to specify or if we, we download these drivers the browser drivers and we want to execute using these browser browser drivers and launch the browser so for example for firefox how we are going to run the test case on firefox browser we have to definitely get the gecko driver we have to download it and put it as a, at a specific location on our machine but before that let's quickly see how we are going to run this particular test case in the edge browser okay so simply what we have to do is we have to simply copy this configure driver and after the scenario just paste the configure driver okay even if it is like this so configure driver and then type chrome will launch chrome browser right and we want to run on ms edge which is there on our machine installed already so let me change it to ms edge and run this script so i'll simply right click and run as a cucumber feature and this should launch ms edge this time instead of the chrome browser so you can see now this is not chrome this is ms edge browser being launched and the test case will get run in the ms edge browser so source demo has been launched it's entering the username the password and it should click on the login button right and it has basically successfully clicked on the login button and then verified the title is SOC Labs so if I refresh this target folder and go to karate reports you will see that now this is MS Edge folder got created right so it has executed in the MS Edge browser and it has gone through successfully right so here you'll see that MS Edge is there okay now if for example a feature file can have multiple scenarios there right so I can have uh, multiple scenarios for login okay 
so if i have another scenario all right and i want to run this scenario on chrome browser so i can simply change the configure configuration as type as chrome and this will launch the chrome browser which is default on my machine okay which is installed by default on my machine because this is what it says here right so if you go to driver types if you specify chrome it will use this default executable if it is windows on mac it will use this for msh it will use this but if we use chrome driver or if we use gecko or safari driver right um, as the type right as the type if we use anything else then we have to actually download those exe files and then provide the location so we'll also understand that as well let's quickly run this now and see that first one executes on the edge and next one runs on the chrome let's me change this something so that the second test fails the chrome one and let's run this test so it is launching edge for the first test case for the first scenario that is there it will run that it has launched source demo username password and login and now second time you will see that it is launched chrome right because in the second scenario we have specifically mentioned to launch the test case in the chrome browser and second test has passed, uh, has executed as well okay so now here you can see that's how you are going to specify the driver in a specific whichever specific browser you want to run okay now these are the default if you use ms edge and chrome this will launch your default browsers that are installed on your machine now say for example um, i want to basically launch the browsers through the chrome driver okay so anyways your your machine needs to have those browsers installed on your machine but if you specify ms edge and chrome it will launch from that default installation location right so from these default location but if we want to execute or we want to launch the browsers through the Chrome driver, Firefox through the Gecko driver, driver and then MS Edge through MS Edge driver, then we have to download all of these. So Chrome driver, Gecko driver, and MS Edge driver and Safari driver and then install Safari on our machine as well. And then specify the Safari driver and the location of the driver wherever we have downloaded and kept those files, right? So for example, let's do one. So let's do for the Gecko driver, okay? So I will simply download the Gecko driver and put it at a particular location. So Gecko driver download and let's download the Gecko driver. So this is the latest version. Let's go ahead and download this one. Okay, so here we will download this Gecko driver Windows 64 bit. Okay, so click on that zip file and it will successfully download it. And let's go to the folder where it has downloaded and I'll copy this and put it in the C drive. Let's put it in C drive. I have something, some browser driver folder here. Yep, so uh, there is a browser driver folder. I'll put it here. So there, there is a Gecko driver, which is the old one. I'll remove that. Let me delete this one and I'll extract this gecko driver okay so you can see that this uh, is the gecko driver that is here in c drive and browser drivers okay so now in order to run my test case on the firefox browser i have to run through the gecko driver that i have downloaded right so the request will come to the gecko driver and gecko driver will then launch the firefox browser that is installed on this machine okay for edge and chrome you can directly launch using the chrome and msh the default installation will take will be basically be accepted in this case but for the firefox we have to basically specify the type right so what is the type for the firefox we have to specify the gecko driver right so we'll simply say gecko driver in this case okay oh, sorry this is the location where this is so let me copy that location as well and we will simply copy this gecko driver so we'll put the gecko driver there and change it to firefox and let me remove one of the scenarios just executing one into the firefox browser okay so with the type what we need to also specify we also need something else okay so let's see what the documentation says so if we go up here so we have to basically specify the type right and then the executable okay so executable wherever the executable is so we have to specify the part Path of the executable right so you will see that type is what we have to specify so gecko driver and executable if present karate will attempt to invoke this if not in the system path you need to specify the full path instead right so we have to specify where this gecko driver is okay so here we have to say executable as well so comma separated executable right and we can say here comma 
executable and where our executable is it's in the browser drivers right now if you're on windows you have to use double backslash there okay so basically now it will look for this gecko driver type which is there in c browser drivers because we have downloaded and kept the gecko driver here okay so now the script should be able to check for this exe file that is there the executable and launch the firefox browser okay so if i save this and run this as a cucumber feature this time it should launch the firefox browser and execute the test case on the firefox browser okay so looks like there is some issue okay let's let's uh, refresh the report here and see what the issue is okay so it has start failed options executable uh, browser drivers okay looks like i have to specify the full executable there so browser driver and then uh, including the gecko driver.exe okay so let me copy this whole path there and specify the whole path here instead of just c browser drivers will we also need to specify the full executable with exe there okay and put the double black slash if you're in, on the windows so let's try executing once again and see if it works yep so you can see that it has launched the firefox browser right and it will run the execution on the firefox browser so it has opened the source demo went to the page here and finally closed the page right and if you go to the report here and refresh this report now you will see all of the steps have run now the title match has failed because the title that i'm expecting is swag labs chrome and the actual title is anyways like swag labs right so that is why this step has failed but the purpose of this video was to be able to run our test case on different browsers right so same script we have been able to run on firefox msh and chrome browser right so for chrome by default your test will run on chrome if you want to specifically mention your scenario to run on chrome if you specify type as chrome okay and that's it then it will go to the windows installed location or mac installed location wherever your chrome is and it launch that browser if it is msh same thing if you want to execute on the firefox you have to download gecko driver.exe and put it at a specific location specify type and the executable for gecko driver and it will launch firefox you can also use chrome driver and msh driver as the other options as well so here there are different ways right so if you if you just specify chrome or msh or you can download all these drivers and run your test case using these drivers on different browsers okay so that will help you to basically execute your test case now you can see there are so many other options that you can go ahead and try the option and the way is absolutely similar it doesn't matter which browser you are trying to execute the second thing is around the port right so these are the default port which will be used when running your test case but in case say for example the default port is not found or you want to specify a specific port on which you want to launch and execute then you have option as well to specify the specific port okay so say for example just after the type you specify the port comma separated port and the executive all right so that way it will launch the test on a specific or the driver on a specific port but that shouldn't be a problem it automatically will be able to switch if the port is not available the script will automatically find the available port and launch the browser accordingly and run the test case okay so that's all basically on uh, this tutorial how you are going to execute your script on multiple browsers i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching